These are my Insta360 cameras that I have destroyed in the past by mounting them to my motorcycle incorrectly. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how not to mount your Insta360 up to your motorcycle to prevent this from happening. Insta360 have sponsored this video. They've allowed me to be the crash test dummy so that you guys don't have to spend your hard-earned cash replacing them all due to silly mistakes, which I'm about to share with you. Stick around to the end. We're gonna pair all these up and see which ones work. Should be pretty interesting. I'll call this one Old Dusty. So I was cruising with Jesse. We're out camping. We decided to go and hit the trails, have a bit of fun. I had this mounted on the back of the T7 and you can watch it just fall down, bang, drag in, <laughs> in the rocks. Worst nightmare. Easily prevented if you had the lens guards on. And then poor Jesse, he was trying to flag me down, waving at me. He tried cleaning the lens, but it was, it was all munted. It was too late. It was all over. This is the pannier rack that I used and I had it mounted right here. It's common sense, you know, uh, I don't know, had a brain fart moment. I was out camping, had a lot of things on my mind, but this was mounted up like this onto here and I just had it hand tight as well. And then obviously riding off road trails that just slid down and just dragged on the ground. Now prevention, don't mount it on a horizontal pole, especially when you're riding trails, it is gonna slide down especially when it's fully extended. So I had something like that. It was just ridiculous. It was, it, was, it was silly. I was a very silly boy. Bring that in a little bit. If you're gonna have it mounted there, try to minimize the weight on the end. I would still highly suggest not mounting it on anything horizontal. Try mounting it up to your vertical point. That way it'll prevent it from sliding down and dragging in the dirt like what we just saw. This is actually the older version of the clamp. Insta360 have now released a new Moto bundle kit and the new one is much smaller and much more durable than the old plastic one. I'm just gonna measure the diameter of this pole so then you know what I was working with here. 19 millimeters in diameter. So maybe try not to mount it on anything less than that. Uh, by the way, this, this lens just cracked today. Um, it was actually fine. It just got scuffed up a bit in the dirt and everything, but it never actually cracked. It did when it fell off the, the bench here onto the hard concrete floor. So yeah, anyways, moving on. All sticky. All right, this next one, I was cruising to a campsite in Melbourne and I was, it was a two-nighter. This is the first two-nighter camping, you know, episode that I've ever done. I was all excited. On the way there, cruising down, high speed, had the extension out pretty far. And this was all, I was already a little bit sus there. You can see me turn around a little bit and you can see it just already just dangling off. There it goes, there she goes. I was doing about 110 k's an hour here. So this thing had a bit of a tumble. You can already see the lenses are all scratched up. Yeah, spewing. This was literally at the start of a, of a camping trip. So that Insta360 X3 is now dead. Oh my goodness, damn it. Oh, that's not ideal. What went wrong? This guy was mounted up or mounted onto this plate right here. On this plate, I had an adhesive mount on the surface here. I did clean it, but if you look closely, it's, it's not a smooth, smooth surface. There are little ripples and everything in it, and that wasn't enough for it to stick down properly. And having the extension out, I was about, I was always, I always just used two. I was about that far. And that's what happened. Ended up just ripping off the whole adhesive and I went for a six. Fixes, don't mount it to a rough surface. Make sure the surface is completely smooth and free of dust and anything like that. If you're cruising doing 110 kilometers an hour, just be mindful that there's gonna be a lot more resistance with the wind and everything, and that's gonna pull everything back, rip your mount off anything or any surface that isn't clean and smooth. And when traveling guys, try not to have this extended out fully. When you're at speed, try to just use one or two of the extensions. In this case, I should have just kept it at zero and just had it sticking out the side a little bit and just gone a little bit wider. All sparky. <laughs> I wanted to mount it low. So yeah, as you guys know, the lower you mount the camera, the more it looks epic, keeps the speed close to the road. This low boy angle is cool for when you're just cruising on a straight road. I've done it before, it looks awesome. But as soon as you go down and yell, scraping pegs almost, yeah, this is gonna happen. In fact, I was so just in my own world that I did it twice. <laughs> it's scrapey times too. how I had it mounted um, and if you look up it looks like it's not gonna scrape you got a lot of you know there's a lot of distance between the camera and the road so naturally you'd think you're cruising you're gonna be sweet I'm gonna lean the bike over and give you guys an idea how this all sort of works that's where I scrape pegs about there and that's it touching the ground 
So it is pretty inconspicuous. You think you might have enough distance between the road and the camera, but when it comes down to it and you are leaning, that bad boy is gonna hit the road and is going to grind away. For this, mount it up to your bike. If you feel a little bit suspicious about it, do the lean test, get a friend to help you. These things are damn heavy. Every bike's different. Wherever your limit is on your bike, make sure that the camera is not gonna hit the road. I'm calling this one Old Demolition Boy. This guy got absolutely messed up. So I was in the Himalayas, cruising along, having a fantastic time. This was day, I don't know, like day two of the Himalayas. I was there for 10 days. And I looked down and I just see this guy just, just, just scrape like on rocks, hitting rocks. And for whoever knows how long for, it was a while. No, damn it. I felt really bad about this one. Oh, bummer. Oh, bummer. Oh, well, that's number four. Spearballs. Oh, that's the name of the game, huh? Having too much fun. Damn it. Damn it. The cause of this happening was that my stick was fully extended and the clamp wasn't tightened up enough. All right, let's get this bad boy back up here again. So when you go to mount this new clamp up, you just tighten it up. <laughs> so usually I would tighten it, right, and I'd give it a little jiggle and then I'd tighten it up again by hand. Up until that moment, that's how I used to do things. Now I use the key that's supplied in the Moto Bundle kit and watch how much more I can get. Now that's tightened and this thing ain't going anywhere. Common sense, it's basically just down to common sense. Tighten all your stuff up, make sure your 3M tape is on a nice smooth surface, clean the crap out of it, watch your lean angles and you'll be so fine. And don't forget, use my affiliate link in the description below to receive the Moto Bundle kit for free with every X4 purchase. I think it's time to see which one of these guys still works. All right, so first old demo, so the power's on and the screen. The screen still works. And this, this lens works as well. So I could still film with this. This is on single lens mode. That, that side, obviously I won't be able to, but yeah, the whole thing still works. It's still very responsive. Um, just don't cut yourself. Next one. This guy still works as well. It's a bit blurry on the back end side because of the whole no lens thing. All right. This guy still works. Had I used the lens guards, it would have still been usable. Old dusty. Yep, it's still, oh, that looks cool. It's got like a full on a little hole with the broken glass. That looks amazing actually. And then this guy, this is the latest one. This is the one I did not long ago. It took a big chunk out. So this is the only one that doesn't work. No dice, four out of five. Not bad. I thought this one wouldn't work, but it does. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Woo!